Hi friends, now I will show you how to fix the problem when Valorant stuck on loading screen. And so there are several ways to fix it, and now I will show you all of them. First, we need to run the game as administrator. To do this, we right click on the Valorant icon, click properties, and open the compatibility tab. We check the boxes next to disable full screen optimizations and check run this program as an administrator. Then click apply and OK. After each item, try to run Valorant and check if the changes worked. If they did not work, proceed to the next method. Next, we will try to update our graphics drivers because outdated or incorrectly installed drivers can cause problems. I'll show you the example of drivers for NVIDIA graphics cards. Search for NVIDIA. Go to drivers and click on the update button here if there is one. If you have the latest version of the driver, try to reinstall it by clicking on the reinstall button. If you have an AMD video card, it's about the same there. The next way to fix Valorant stuck on loading screen. It is to write local app data percentage in search. After that, you will open Explorer. In it, we need to find the Valorant folder and delete it. Then we need to find the Riot Games folder, open it. And now here we delete the Valorant folder. After that, we need to open the folder where Valorant is installed. You can do this in several ways. I'll show you one. To do this, type Valorant in the search, right click on it, select open file location. And once again, click on the Valorant icon, select properties in the menu, and click on open file location. Now from this folder, we need to exit, just click here. Now from here we go to the Valorant folder, then the Live folder, and delete these two files. So if you still have a problem with the screen freezing in Valorant, the next thing we can do is to change our DNS servers. To do that, we open the Start menu, and we write Run. Now here, we write NCPA CPL. And then we select the internet connection that we're using. Right click on it and go to Properties. In this window, we want to select this item and go to Properties and we want to change the DNS server address from automatic. We select this item and enter the following values. After that, we click OK. If you still have a problem, I have one last way. To do this, type CMD in the search, run it as administrator, type the command SC delete VGK and press enter, and SC delete VGC and press enter again. After that, close the command line. After that, we need to restart the computer. After restarting the computer, go to the Program Files folder and delete the folder with Riot Vanguard. Now open the Riot client and run the game update. It will reinstall some files. And after that, restart your computer again. Hope this helped you. If you still have questions, ask them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.